Yes, you dumb shit. What's your question? What would happen if someone took a fork and shoved it in their eye? Ah, yes. If you were to take fork and shove it in your eye, it would hurt really, really bad. But you have two eyes for a reason. Alright, Crash. Now let's move on to how we can use our eyes as a coin slot. Wait, what color are my eyes, Cody? Uh, black. Racist? No, Junior, your eyes are just black. You don't Cody, have I'm tired of you being racist all the time. Wait, Cody, what, what color are your eyes? Uh, hold on, let me take off my glasses. Ugh, boom! Eyes of an angel. Uh, Cody, you don't have an eye color. Yeah, I know. What color is Ken's eyes? Uh, blue, which is also what he did to me last night. What, he blew you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. And uh, speaking of blowing me, I'm having a sleepover tonight. You want to come? A sleepover? Yeah. At your house? Yeah. I don't like your parents, Cody. They're weird. Well, I, that's the thing, Junior. My parents aren't even going to be there. It's just going to be me and Ken. All alone. We need a third wheel for our tricycle so we can get rolling. I don't know, Cody. I don't, I don't really like sleepovers at your house. Oh, okay, picture this, Junior. Me, up to my neck in whipped cream, and you have to find the cherry. I do like cherries. Yeah. Why don't you invite Jeffy to the sleepover? Sleepover? I want to have a sleepover. Mm, sorry, Jeffy. I was hoping it would just be me, Junior, and Ken. You know, four's a crowd, three's loud. Just have a menage a trois. I guess I'll go, Cody. Really? Oh my god, I, I didn't think you would say yes. But we have to get ready, Ken. Come on. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Jeffy. How was school? It was gay. I'd rather staple my ball sack to my leg than go back to school. Don't say that, Jeffy. Daddy, can I have a sleepover? A sleepover? Yeah. With what friends? I have friends. Name one. Um, uh, you. I'm not your friend, Jeffy. <laughs> Fine, Jeffy. F fine, Jeffy. Fine, Jeffy. Jeffy, fine. Fine, Jeffy. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends, Jeffy. But look, look, I'm your dad, so it doesn't really count. Like, I'm talking about a real friend. Look, if you can get one friend to come over and have a sleepover with you tonight, then I'll let you have a sleepover, okay? All right, Donnie. I just need one friend to have a sleepover with me. Where am I going to find a friend? Oh, I know. I know somebody who will always answer. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Girl, I thought I told you to get dinner ready. Ah, help me! Help me! Girl, shut up before I go and beat you with the bell. Ah, help me! Help me! Help me! Oh my God, that sounds like a crime. Uh, I'll be right over there, ma'am. Hello? Hey there. I'm responding to a domestic disturbance call I got a little while ago, and uh, I'm here to join in. You know, throw some punches? I, I'm kidding. I'm actually just here to arrest some people. Oh. Well, that was just me. That was you? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. I, I thought somebody was really beating their wife. <laughs> Dawn. All right, so yeah, that domestic disturbance call we got was a false alarm. Over. Uh, sorry about the walkie-talkie. They make me carry this thing everywhere to let them know what's going on, but no more prank calls, okay? Okay. I just really wanted to have a sleepover. So can you? Ooh, a sleepover, huh? That sounds like fun, but sorry, kid, I can't. Crime never sleeps. All units, all units, please respond. We got a shooting at a gas station. Over, we need all units. Oh my god, it shots fired at a gas station? Uh, hold on, kid. All right, I'll be right over, and I'm, I'm bringing backup, okay? <laughs> all right, so how about that sleepover, huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, Daddy, I found a friend for the sleepover. Oh, you did? Who is it? Hey there. What? You kid said you've been beating on him. You think that's funny, huh? What if I started beating on you? Well, what's going on? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just here for a sleepover. Sleepover. Well, Jeffy, you cannot invite a cop to a sleepover. Why, Daddy? He's my friend. He's not your friend, Jeffy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you saying cops aren't friendly? Are, are you saying I'm a dirty cop? Because I'm not a dirty cop. I took a shower this morning. No, I'm not saying you're a dirty cop. I'm just saying, Jeffy, you can't invite a cop to a sleepover because he's busy. He has a job. Like, like, don't you have duty? Uh, no, I already went. And I, I went pee-pee, too. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a cop poop joke. You should appreciate that. Je Jeffy, look, look, he's a really busy man, and he has, like, donuts to eat or something. Oh, oh, don't you have ravioli or something to eat, fat? <sighs> Fine, Jeffy. If you want to have a sleepover with him, y'all can have a sleepover. But what are you going to do in your stupid sleepover? Pillow fight! Oh, pillow fight! Oh, 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 hell yeah! Oh, oh. Enough? Look, 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 you guys are only hitting me. How about you hit each other? Uh, okay, yeah, bring it on, tough guy. Uh. Oh. Officer Guy, uh. where the hell are you? We're getting massacred out here. Please respond. Uh. 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 
Officer down! Ugh, ouch! Ugh. I'm the pillow fight champion of the world! Alright, Jeff, you had your stupid pillow fight. Now what are you gonna do during the sleepover? Tell scary stories. What, scary stories? I don't know any scary stories. Do you know any scary stories? Oh yeah, I got a really good one. Okay, so this one time I was buying Cheez-Its from a vending machine, right? So I walk up to the machine, I put my $1 bill in, and I push B2, because that's the button for Cheez-Its. And I love Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to enjoy this bag of Cheez-Its. And then the machine starts moving. It starts making noise. This is going to be amazing, right? And then the machine, it's pushing those Cheez-Its toward me. And I'm like, yes, come to Papa. Come to Papa. And right as it's about to drop, it gets stuck. Wait, it, it gets stuck? It gets stuck. The Cheez-Its get stuck right between the glass and the shelf. And they're not dropping, they're not moving. And my mouth goes, because I just can't believe this. So I start pounding on them. And I start shaking the machine. And then I remember, if the machine falls on you, you can die. So I yeah, it'll, it'll crush you. Yeah, it will. So I stop shaking the machine. And then I go and I ask my buddy Joe for some money, right? And I've already asked him for money tons of times. And he says, Guy, I can't give you any more money. I, you already owe me like 300 bucks. I say, Joe, it's just a bag of Cheez-Its. You know what I'm talking about, right? Just a bag of Cheez-Its. Yeah, it's like a dollar, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just a dollar. So he says, fine. And he gives me a dollar in quarters. Okay, and I'm thinking, yes, this is perfect. I needed exactly a dollar. I'm going to go back to that machine. So I walk up to the machine, and I put each of those quarters into the machine. And I'm thinking, this is going to be amazing. And then, uh, much to my surprise, the coins just drop, and they fall right into the change return slot. I'm thinking, what's going on? And then I notice, I notice the machine is broken. It doesn't even have an out-of-order sign on it. 